Hi there, Paul from PowerWashStore.com here. Uh, gonna give you a quick walk around of the Eric Smith Mr. Clean Power Wash diesel powered diesel hot water unit uh, trailer that we built for him here recently. Um, we have a tandem axle heavy duty trailer with 5,000 pound axles on it. We have our UWS toolbox in the front here. We can start with that. Real nice toolbox, you just flip the lever here. It's got a hydraulic lifters on it. We have drawers in here for storing all your tools and everything like that that pull out. Uh, sits inside basically the front triangle section here. So it's very, very difficult to hit it. You would actually hit the bumper of your truck before you would uh, actually hit the box. Uh, we put a uh, multi-purpose vise on here, you see. It's got the standard jaws at the top, but you can actually loosen it up and flip it over. If I loosen it up enough here, you can flip it over to, um, it's probably because I got it tight, there we go. We could flip it over, and then we have uh, pipe jaws on the top, so if you have to do anything with pipes, you can do that, as well as uh, with the standard flat jaws. It has a little anvil area here so that if you wanted to uh, flatten anything you can do that. We have our 68 horsepower diesel fired Kubota pressure washer on our heavy duty steel frame. We have a 22 gallon fuel tank. All your controls are right here. It's really nice. You can see that there is an hour meter right, uh, right up in here to keep, or I'm sorry, an RPM gauge to keep track of your RPMs, your hour meter and all your controls right here. We have our Water Dragon 12 gallon a minute hot water heaters that are plumbed to our large fuel tank in the back. Uh, we'll come around the other side, see the twin pumps. We have our 525 gallon water tank, our 35 gallon diesel tank with our pickups for our hot water heater. Uh, we have our custom ladder rack built onto the trailer here still under seven feet when it's connected to the truck to uh, help keep clearances if he wants to do parking garages. On the back here we have two electric reels. He's going to use one for his garden hose that he uses every day and the other one's going to be used for his half inch high pressure hose. We have this hooked up with a Siamese kit to allow him to get a full 20 gallons a minute at 3000 psi if he wants to. The bottom hose reels, he's going to use the one on the right for garden hose and the one on the left for 3 h pressure hose that he's going to be installing himself that he already has. Uh, on the side here, you can see we have our Siamese kit already built in and integrated. So if he wants to go from one gun to two, all he has to do is flip, uh, flip the valves open. Uh, we have our two pressure lines feeding in here. We have the one from the one machine, one pump, and the one from the second pump, and then the valves to allow him to link them together. So if he wants to run all out of one pump, all he has to do is open the one valve that from the hose that leads to uh, across the top back up to the top here and close the lower valve. If he wanted to work two individual pumps, he would actually just open this valve here and close this one here. And then each one of these hose reels would operate independent of each other. Coming around the side here, we have a nice two inch drain line coming out of the tank. We have a two inch feed line that comes up the side here and feeds our two uh, 3000 PSI, 10 gallon a minute Udor pumps uh, on our diesel unit here. We modified the exhaust and had a special bracket made on here to allow him to keep the exhaust at a low, uh, lower profile for clearance issues. He also has a winterizing kit on here that allows him to winterize both pumps. And you see we have three way ball valves on there. So all he has to do is take the ball valve and turn it and turn the other one to be able to run antifreeze through the whole pump filters all the way through the coils and then he can uh, spray it all the way through the lines or uh, just winterize up to the hose reels. We also have disconnects on the hoses that lead up to the top of the tank that will allow him to disconnect those and put them back into his tank for antifreeze so he doesn't dump antifreeze into his tank with bypass. Each one of the pumps is equipped with a high pressure relief valve, high capacity, uh, three, one inch uh, filter for the, um, for the water. We have our battery integrated underneath here, a very high capacity 
full size alternator up there on the engine to keep up with the power to power both of these burners. And then we have a custom uh, surface cleaner rack that we made for him here for his Mondo surface cleaner that will allow him to lift it on and off really easily. We have some hooks on here for being able to strap it down and also if he wanted to uh, lock it up with a chain or some other type of device he could run them either up to the top or to the side there. So this is the Eric Smith Mr. Clean Power Wash high pressure diesel fired 65 horsepower Kubota diesel unit with two 12 gallon a minute hot water heaters made by Water Dragon compliments of the Power Wash store 855-351-9274 Visit us at powerwashstore.com.